Hello and welcome back. My name is Vlad and in today's Sunday Sample video we're gonna be trying whiskey from Scottish Lowland Distillery, New Distillery, Kingsburns Distillery, Whiskey, Dream to Drum. Kingsburn's distillery is a quite new distillery in Scotland. The idea to building distillery in this place, Kingsburn distillery, become in 2009 when Douglas Clement decided to open his own whiskey distillery. After a few years, in 2013, he decided to sell this distillery and uh, he sold this distillery to the Wims family. The Wims family might sound quite familiar because they are independent bottler, Wims Malts. So probably most of you, my dear friends and viewers, have been met some products from Wims Malts, independent bottler. And actually from 2013, the Wims family is a owner of Kingsburn Distillery. And actually the distillery has started in 2015 when they started producing the spirit and in 2018 18 slash 19 the first single malt whiskey showed up on the market and actually dream to drum is the first official single malt i mean first co-range single malt from from this distillery in this case dream to drum is a whiskey of course unchill filtrate uncolored and bottled at 46% of ABV. And to mature this whiskey, the slurry used two types of the casks, which is the first fill ex bourbon casks and uh, STR vino barrique casks. So let's, let's go for it and check what we have in the glass. On the nose, Nice, fruity, malty, slightly honey aroma with loads of apples, pears, apple compote, some cinnamon as well. So quite fresh, young, but quite nicely made whiskey, I need to say. There is kind of floralness behind it. it. Smells quite nice. Let's dive into. Initially on the palate, whiskey, very thick, very oily, quite nice textured, sweet, honey, apple compote, apple crumble with cinnamon, cooked pears, slightly malty, slightly vanillish, very nice, little spicy I would say. When swallow, whiskey become more intense and it's changing very quickly. So that lovely honey sweetness, that malt sweetness turning to more dry things, more dry aspects like uh, young fresh walnuts like coffee, like dark chocolate, even I would say some oakiness coming up, 
quite dry oakiness. So on the finish we have little of sweetness staying around somewhere but the main taste in the finish is walnut bitterness, young green walnut bitterness with some touch of coffee, touch of oakiness and still some fruity aspects lingering in the mouth that apple, that pears, maybe some strawberries now in the finish so maybe that STR cask starts showing up a little bit I need to say this whiskey is quite complex it's not simple whiskey definitely because from that sweetness that bitterness is quite quick turn and you know it's it seems to be not that easy whiskey if I if I was thinking you know first whiskey from the slurry first bottle in the cold range is always easy accessible whiskey in the from the most the slurries but not in this time, not in this case. This whiskey seems to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, slightly different than usual young new distilleries whiskies. Yeah, this one reminds me Kleinlich 14 from years back when I was able to notice that kind of quick turn from nice sweet beginning and uh, quite dry finish same is here i do like it i like kind of interesting whiskey this is not definitely boring whiskey it's quite interesting quite nice in uk you can find this bottle for around 40 to 45 pound at this moment probably three four years old it's actually no age statement whiskey so we don't know exactly how old this whiskey is but it is definitely quite interesting and I, I I can recommend this whiskey for everybody who wants to try something new and something not that kind of easy accessible I would say which is quite weird this whiskey is made in Scottish lowland when this whiskey normally according to the region should be very accessible very easy very light this one is not easy, not light, not accessible, so quite interesting. I'm very, very enjoyed this whiskey. I'm very happy to have this whiskey on my table and try it. If you have had any chance to try this whiskey, leave me your comments down below. I'm quite interested in your opinion about this one. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Thank you very much for your support, for your time and patience. Take care about yourselves, about your families, drink your whiskey, enjoy your life, and see you soon. Bye.